My name is Purushu Nabakti. I'm from Thailand and I'm an international student with Pierce College. I'm going to talk about Thai language. Standard Thai, also known as Central Thai or Bangkok Thai, is the official national language of Thailand. It is spoken by around 80% of the 60 million residents of the country. It is taught in all schools and is used for most television broadcasts. There are also three other major dialects, Southern, Northern, and Northeastern. It's the same thing anyway, it's just the way we pronounce words. That's different. And I think the basic doesn't require that. The Thai alphabet itself has 44 consonant symbols, 21 vowel symbols that combine into 32 vowel forms and four tone decritics to create characters, mostly representing syllables. So we have this over here as alphabets and vowels. Alphabets combined with vowels can make a word the characteristic of the Thai language. First, there are no articles A and D, and second, most of the time, question words come at the end of a sentence, who, when, and where. It is the tonal language, which means that the same word can convey different meanings depending on the tone with which it is pronounced. The tone uh, mid, low, falling, high, and rising. So, is mid is ga, low is ga, falling is ga, high is ga, and rising is ga. It's a little confusing to most Americans and probably everybody else, but it's what makes Thai language unique in a way. And come to dialogue. So we have two saying hello over here. It's the same meaning, but it's the meaning that's different is this over here saying sawati krap. Krap is used for male and ka over here is used for female. So two, three, four, four alphabets over here uh, saying sawati. Same as over here. There's no change in any pronunciation over here. The only change is, is the one behind is krap and ka. Krap and ka is basically making the word more polite or sound more formal. And crop is for male, can is for female, always. And the next one is Kun Sabai Di My Krap is how are you? But this is spoken by a man because we put in crop at the end. Just just make it sound more formal and more polite. Sabai Di Ka Kop Kun Kun La Ka means fine, thank you, and you. Sabai Di Ka is Fine, thank you, is called kun. Kun laka is and you. And again, ka is for female, so make it more polite. Pom sabai di kap kop kun means I am fine, thank you. It's pretty, pretty basic, yeah. And then we have the last one is goodbye, pronounced la gone. This is at the end of almost every sentence because, you know, saying goodbye is polite and so way to end the conversation. And that's the basic of Thai dialogue. Thank you.